We are from Racine and we've been going to the sealed air Y for a while. And um, we have been taking classes there. Pat and I live together, so I feel like we um, handled it quite well. I mean, it was a shock because there's no cancer in our family. And, you know, cancer will get into anybody's family, you know, history or not. Um, and she went through her chemo and her radiation pretty good. She asked me a lot of questions, but when she joined the Live Strong program, um, she seemed to perk up more as far as energy because, like I said, we had been taking some exercise classes at the Y before Live Strong. But come Tuesday, no matter what, I gotta get to Live Strong. Uh, it seemed to energize her. Um, she would tell me of the wonderful people that she met and how good the program is and what it covered. And I think I went, I know I went once, maybe twice, um, to do my own workout upstairs, but I, I did go on a day that Pat goes on Tuesday and um, she explained what they were gonna be doing and it just seemed like it was a very thorough, very complete program. Well, you know, Janet's a nurse, so I always run to her for health uh, advice. That's what I do, I, you know, talk about, should I take these pills together or be better, you know? I don't know what to do, so I go and ask her. And sometimes she'll take her glasses off when I know, mm -mm, I shouldn't have asked that. <laughs> but yeah, right? We bounce yes. off of each other nicely sometimes. Yes. <laughs> um. I, I'm not sure how to say this, Go but ahead, Janet. Um, I encourage Pat quite a bit. You're on camera. Okay. I, I think <laughs> I think I feel that I do um, because maybe there are some things in um, cancer treatments, such as chemo, that they don't tell you, and. Um, I mean, they tell you maybe some side effects, but um, people seem to be get surprised that they end up with some neuropathy. It might be temporary. And especially uh, some memory loss. <laughs> so I try to be very encouraging to Pat with, with, with her, her memory. Um, and She's been encouraging to me. I mean, we've had different issues, you know. I, in fact, I was still going, no, I was, yeah, I was, well, I was going through a foot surgery in recovery um, in part of 2017. So she was encouraging to me for that. So we, we are encouraging yeah. to each other, you know. To, yeah, and then so. I, you know, was encouraging and always looking at Pat. Um, after her chemo treatment, and um, I think a lot of us really cook, but if we do, I do, and I, I would try to make meals for Pat and stay encouraging that way and tell her to keep her fluids up because yeah. she did pass out. Yeah, the restaurant. Um, so yeah, we're encouraging depending on you know, what it is and what we're going through. Stuff. Sometimes think, it can get hard, mm -hmm. but I think it's being necessary. sisters, and you know, one is not feeling very well, and cancer is not a very good diagnosis. You're gonna move towards that one sister and try to prop her up and help her. We we help one another. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but she does most of the cooking, which is spot on. Should we just say, and what are we having tonight? Yeah. <laughs> They do a darn good job. Yeah, the counselors, everyone at uh, Live Strong. I just love the whole concept. I just really, really do.
a lot of humor there. We, we laugh. And there's a lot of sadness too. But I mean, we're all together to absorb all of that. And like this one girl, new girl, uh, I was helping her out. Well, I saw her sitting in a chair and she looked so sad, so down. I mean, she just really did. And I went over to her, put my arm around her in the back, rubbed her back and said, honey, can I help you? Are you feeling okay? I mean, is there anything that I could do for you? And she says, I I'm just really feeling bad for the type of cancer. I can't remember what kind of cancer she had, but it, it wasn't a good diagnosis. But we talked about that in the last meeting, and she pointed to me. She said, I really appreciated that. And she got up in front of the whole group and came around and gave me a hug. So some people need that.